Hi guys, we are back with another rapid game. Road to 2500. Our opponent is not that high rated. So, this is a Italian game right now. And we are going to make it as sharp as we can. But maybe we just slowly improve our position instead of going very sharp. Taking the bishop is an option, but not a very good option because it allows me to think about castle and queen side. So I first give a check and then retreat the bishop. All the way back to c2. He wants to prevent me from castle and queen side by this pawn push, but I'm not as scared of these pawns as long as there is no concrete plan for black to treating me it's okay and it's an important moment whether i should cast it coincide or not and he is going all in to my king side uh, qu uh, queen side so i can kick this bishop this is what i want i can keep my king in the center actually i'm thinking about this move right Let me go in with the knight. If it takes, I'm happy because I have a very good pawn planted on f5. This pawn is very strong on f5. And I'm okay. Also, I no, don't have a double pawn. No, I'm thinking about g4 and g5 and yo, very good. Just I should close the center perhaps. And I don't push the queen side pawns because at any moment I may castle. Okay, he wants to attack my rook and queen at the same time. Good move. Let's defend this one. Let's defend this one and then play g4 if we have time. Or if our opponent gives us time. What he can play is like, for example, he can play f6, queen f6, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, uh, this move was not bad, knight there, but uh, he should retreat the knight, yeah, exactly, because I, I don't see any plan for that knight over there. So we prevent his knight from coming there again, and another point is that we want to push our pawns and destroy his uh, kingside castle. Know that he pushed this pawn, I closed the queen side somehow. Not completely, but somehow I closed the queen side. So, should I castle right now or should I wait, I still wait? Maybe I wait a little bit. Uh, he cannot push the d pawn because I grab his knight. And this is not just waiting, I also want to reroute my queen to e3. Because I want to push the pawn to g5. And bring the rook to... Okay, he wants to push the pawn. It's okay, but we also want to push the pawn. And maybe I keep my king in the center. It's safe there. I don't think it's important to castle queen side. Especially because his rook is on the a file. I don't want to be threatened by his rook so I can push the pawn right now right is there any danger here he can of course push the pawn as well but that's very dangerous I believe because it allows me to go in I think I should go in there is no other option I should go in <coughs> and then this destroys his pawn structure. Know that I mean. First off, maybe I just take this pawn. We check. If he takes with the queen, I, my knight goes in. If he takes with the anyway, my knight goes in. Right. And. 
next move mm, we will see so here i should be careful uh, maybe i just play maybe i just play mm, yeah i think i just play in, uh, king e2 to defend my queen and somehow connect the rooks let's do it i know it uh, looks crazy but well, he is uh, pairing all queen and rook in the a file. I'm not going uh, uh, to put my king in that side, right? It's very dangerous, of course. So, this was expected, and we just moved the queen. Where to put the queen? I'm thinking uh, queen maybe queen f3 is good and then bringing the rook there because i want to take the knight with the rook let's go if there is nothing tactically dangerous uh, uh rook a goes to g1 right now and then i will grab the knight and mm, yeah and i go for a checkmating attack hopefully okay he knows that i'm about to do so therefore he moves away let's double the rooks and at the right moment we go for sacking everything Double the rooks. Still, I don't see any immediate danger. So, what does this pawn is doing here? I don't know. It is here to damage my pawn structure, I believe. Do I care? Not much. Yeah, I don't care. I go in with the knight, attacking the pawn. He takes, I take, and then when the journey starts. But is it good? Knight in. He takes with the knight. I take back with the pawn, and I'm attacking his uh, g-pawn. Maybe adding one more attacker is better. Or maybe I just don't need to go in. I can go to h3 with the knight and attack the pawn. Yeah, I need this knight because I need enough attackers. If he does nothing, I think I will go for the case of queen versus two rooks. Because it's not just about queen versus two rooks. I have very good bishops. Uh, good bishop and knight. I have very good minor pieces. So let's go in with the rook. Hmm. No, I think I can take the d pawn because he cannot take it with the rook anymore and somehow it strengthens my defensive force if it doesn't create any weakness for me and enables me to reroute my queen and bring my knight into a better square so my knight right now is in perfect square f4 and my threat is obvious i am going to take the g uh, h pawn and everything i feel falls apart after that okay he is trying to be to be a bit tricky like he wants uh, or she wants to go for uh, forking my queen and rook 
knight e4 and 5 forks my queen and rook but let me calculate i take the h pawn he forks i say check with the knight if he takes with the rook i take the pawn with check he has to take otherwise i take his queen yeah right no let's go go for it it's the right move to do in, in the right moment wow really so I will take it anyway. This, uh, he has to take it with the knight. Otherwise, if he was going to take it with the rook, I was going to say check and win his knight. So he took it with knight. No, I can escape. And there is no fork. I can escape with the king. We are having very pleasant position. We just should not mess it up. Let me add the, the next attacker to the game. Yeah. He can defend with the rook. If he doesn't defend, I think it's the end of his story. But uh, no, my bishop is active, right? No, my bishop is active. And I feel I should be winning. Okay, here it needs very careful calculation. Bishop b3. He pushes the pawn. I, I take and the pawn with the rook. Check. King has one square to go. I check again. King goes up. I mate it. So after I go bishop b3, he doesn't take or doesn't push. He just escapes with the king. I take the rook. He takes my pawn. No, I should take his pawn then. So in this bishop b3 is important. Should be played. He cannot ignore it. You should do something. Wow, what was this? This is a mate, right? I take the pawn with check. If he takes with the knight, I mate it with the rook. Wow. We won technically. Good game. GG. But uh, I didn't calculate everything here. I didn't calculate everything here. This is, of course, mate, but let's go. Sometimes this engine is very slow. Okay, somewhere here. Okay, engine apparently is very slow. I don't know how to improve it. Uh, or maybe my uh, cell phone is not strong enough. Here, I think I had a winning position. But he managed to make a good counterplay with pawn push. This was a good counterplay by him, but it's still not enough. First of all, here we are mating, uh, and he was, if he's not careful, there is no way to escape. And then after that, first I took that pawn, and he played inaccurate at this moment. I, it's clear why I'm taking that pawn. Is not to win a pawn is not important in this stage of the game. Pawn is not important. What is important is uh, that attacking the king, the pawn is taken to bring my bishop into the attack, and he was careless. He went after my pawn. Maybe maybe he had calculated something. I I think no, he didn't. He just said that okay, this pawn is a queen and let's do it. But of course, it's not a queen. It's mm, too late to be a queen and this was the end of a game and if you wonder why uh, he couldn't for example play other moves for example he moved the king right he was able to move the king for that i thought i first grabbed the pawn okay 
Then I still I had many unfortunately engine doesn't show me anything. Then I still I had no he could of course uh, take it. Uh, it's not a mating net. Uh, if I take here, I uh, he takes here. Uh, he it doesn't even need to take here. He may be able to give lots of checks. And I think not really because it gives one or two check and then I'm I'm done. Maybe going here as well to give the next check. Mm. No clue if it is good, but my idea was to just simply take this pawn. If he goes in to say next check, I just uh, hide behind my pieces. Yes, and I think at this moment he was uh, very careless that uh, didn't notice why I take the pawn when everything goes to its skin. Okay, I take it because I want to pin your rook, the, the, uh, a strong defender. And this was the end of his story. Also, if uh, his king was going to this direction, wasn't helpful. And for example, I calculated this line that he pushes. And then the uh, beautiful part was this. I go there, say check. If he takes, of course, is a queen mate. Right? I say check. If he go up again, is a queen mate. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.